So there are some people that would say having bacon, pork belly and prawns in a stir fry is a bit over the top. Now luckily I am not one of those people. <laughs> the stir fry has a few little extras that make it really amazing and one is the pork belly. So usually with pork belly you sort of get it in a, in a slab like this. I'm going to show you how to slice it up for a stir fry. Um, I'm just going to slice it into long strips to start with and you're always going to have that skin on the pork belly as well which is great if you're roasting but not so great if you're stir frying because it gets a little tough so we just want to make a little nick with our knife between the fat and the skin this is the easiest way to get it off and then angle your knife down and then keep the knife steady but wiggle that pork skin and that takes off your pork skin in one clean slice now a lot of people might think of pork belly as something that you roast or slow braise and, and it's great for those things but if you quickly flash fry or cook pork belly it stays really tender as well. It's all in the way you cook it. And now we just want to slice it really thin. For the pork marinade I'm going to add some garlic, some light soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, and then just a little dash of corn flour and that's going to give our pork a really glossy, sticky texture in the stir fry. And then just set that aside until you're ready to cook. Now one of the very special ingredients in this stir fry is shrimp paste. Now on its own it has a very strong smell but once you cook it into your stir fry you'll find it melts into the background and you just get this sort of hint of savoury umami flavour. It really does add that extra bit of flavour. I'm going to start off with a little bit of oil and the bacon. Mm, gotta love that sizzle. So bacon's not a traditional ingredient in a stir fry, but I really love the smokiness and the savouriness it adds to a stir fry dish. And now for that pork. Whenever you're adding slices of meat to a wok, just spread it out in the pan so that the most amount of surface area comes into contact with that hot wok. I'm going to add in the prawns. Mmm, smells so good already. Okay, and just as those prawns are turning pink, I'm going to add in my shrimp paste. Okay, and some vegetables. So I like to add some greenery, some sliced bok choy, some sliced cabbage. And I'm going to add in some Hokkien noodles, but you could use any other type of thick noodle that you like. And now for the light soy sauce and the dark soy sauce. And then I'm adding some chicken stock just for a little extra liquid. And then some cornstarch mixed with a little bit of water. And that's going to thicken up the sauce and make sure it clings to all the ingredients in the stir fry. I just want to toss that together until that sauce thickens up and becomes nice and glossy. Oh, this is looking so good. So you've got that glossy, sticky sauce clinging to all the noodles. You've got those little extra ingredients in there like the bacon and the shrimp paste. It's gonna make this really amazing. And you're done, time to eat.